Let's get to Kayla Tausche as well uh, as we see multiple pots uh, cooking this morning in Washington, D.C. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Carl, I've been talking to my sources who say that regulators here in Washington are likely to pursue more regulatory changes to free up liquidity for banks to be investing to keep the markets functioning uh, more seamlessly than they are right now. One change that is under consideration right now is the OCC, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, is considering relaxing its 2013 rules over leveraged lending. Now, this is essentially a way to um, take some of these barriers or guardrails off of the banks that would prohibit them from making loans to companies that are being perceived as risky companies, as some of these energy companies, for instance, slide down the credit scale and their capital or their balance sheet becomes less healthy. In this case, if this were to happen, banks would be able to continue extending credit to them. I am told, though, that there is a significant amount of resistance to making this change, largely because when these rules were put in place in 2013, from then until now, they've been seen as effective, and they've actually been seen as keeping banks from extending riskier loans that would have put them in a more precarious position right now. I spoke to a bank executive this morning about what this change, if it were to happen, would do. And in addition to that, what the Fed's announcement earlier today that it would be relaxing banks' liquidity buffers would do, he said those two actions together would be more effective than the Fed even going to negative rates in terms of the capital that it would free up. As for that announcement this morning, uh, a real-time example of what that could potentially do for banks. For instance, if a company and a, a mutual fund company, a money market company like BlackRock, were to go to a bank and say, customers are wanting redemptions. We need money on hand. If a bank were to make them a loan to be able to fulfill those customer requests, the bank would have to hold 100 percent of that money as liquidity to back that up. With the change the Fed made this morning, they would no longer have to do that. So that's one example of how this could play out in the real world by freeing up some of this money and trying to inject some of that in the market as lending in some cases tries to return to normal. Guys. Yeah, Kayla, it's, uh, it's remarkable. All these efforts to keep risks off of banks' books did not get rid of the risks and now revising things on the fly. It's kind of fascinating. Uh, Kayla, it is, and it, it is going to definitely, Mike, o open up some political blowback, too, for especially Democrats who say we need these rules in place and they should not be adjusted. There should be workarounds, uh, but certainly banks are in touch with the administration regularly to try and tell them what they need to happen to free up some of this capital.